My name is Leo, welcome to another day of Persona 5 Royal. So, uh, as I was playing through, through Vanilla, which I'm, I'm still like working my way through yesterday in Vanilla, I noticed that I got the bad ending like two times. So, I came this fucking close to getting the bad ending yesterday. Like, like I, I chose the option to rat out my friends. Or to say that they, to admit that to, that they were part of it. And then the thing's like, oh. And then I think in the, in the video, I'm like, oh, I want to go, like, it gave me the option to go back. I thought it meant go back and re-choose my option. But it was just like, no, tell, tell Sire that they weren't involved. Which is actually a great answer. Still pissed about the fact that I can't, I wasn't able to, to say that, uh. Dickhead was part of I still don't quite understand that ending. So I think, I think that, well, what, I, what I've garnered from it is that everything we played into the game up until this point, well, actually, up until the 19th, uh, has been me telling my story to Sire in the courtroom. And because it's me telling that story and I was drugged, I forgot certain key things. Like an entire conversation I had with Morgana for Tabo about some bullshit about making an app or whatever to trap I can't see I don't know. So uh yeah. What else was I saying gonna say? I, I rewatched the video where you get to see um Kutaba looking at a screen. There's like two subtitles. Not quite as many as I was hoping for. Uh, oh well. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, oh yeah. Um, I'm glad I got, I'm glad I got, well I'm glad I did the right choice first. Because when you, if you get the bad ending, um, apart from the fact that when I got shot by a catchy, it's just this giant splash of blood that is conveniently not present in the other one. But uh, something else happens. What else happens? Oh, yeah, well, I, I guess it gets revealed. Like, just straight up revealed. And uh, unlike in when, you when, you, when you're when you going through the good, get to the good ending. Which I guess we are. I'm drinking, by the way. Be aware of that. My, my foot hurts a lot because I ate shit while trying to navigate over some plastic furniture and I tripped over it and I fucking fell down and it hurts a lot. My foot hurts a lot. I hate it. This is like the first time I've actually done that. I've, I've been really good about... It's a fucking obstacle course getting through my house. I swear to God. With, the, with every single door frame being like here on my head so I have to duck under it and I'm like dodging like furniture that's because everything's crammed in so tight yeah hate it anyway what was the thing about a catchy being revealed in the bad ending yeah the the impact of like going through it uh in the in the good ending well what what we witnessed yesterday is actually way cool, so I'm glad I got, I'm glad I did that first. Also, I noticed that when you get Sire to her mass X ma max X link, max, it's not even S link actually, it's a confidant ranking, whatever. Uh, her skill in the in vanilla, the skill says true justice, and the description of it is like question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't, no, I don't think it actually does anything. And this is a weird fun thing for fun people for fun people anyway we are going to play the game there's one more thing I want to vent about so I'm in a mood right now or with my foot and being drunk and, and what I'm about to tell you uh, so I decided to finally get around to uploading all my um, all 
those karaoke songs that I made, and I made them into cool, like, uh, what do you call them, uh, music videos. Oh, shit, I have to put that in the description, I forgot about that. We'll do that later. Um, so, the, the, the rap that I made, that went up, that's fine. But that's got a premiere on it, so you'll be able to see that. Um, theoretically, every other video will come out once a day, at the same time that the premiere hits. Which is 12 a.m. for me. Whatever that is for you, I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, and then what was the second one? The second one was Afraid and Alone, which is a Kevin Reeves song. Kevin Reeves is this cool blind uh, musician that uh, was on No Holds Bad Radio, the radio show that I used to listen to. And he's got in one of his songs as part of the. Um, Almost all of the songs, except for Satisfaction, Copacabana, one more, I Will Survive, I think. Uh, except for those three songs, all the other songs were part of the No, the no Old Bad Radio. Oh, and the rap. The rap wasn't part of it. Uh, were, part, were part of the uh, No Old Bad Radio NHB Idol competition. So anyway, so I'm... That, that video didn't get flagged. That song didn't get flagged, which I'm glad, because it's really just the song with me singing over it. Like, you can hear Kevin Reeves' actual good voice <laughs> singing in the background. Uh, so I'm glad that didn't get flagged or anything. Um, but, like, almost every single song, except for the, Chris the three Christmas songs, uh, interestingly enough... Wait, let me finish my sentence. Almost every single song that I uploaded of all 18 videos... 18 songs. Almost every single song has been copyrighted. Um, with copyright content for like melody or whatever. And it infuriates me because almost all of them are, me are me um, midis that either I created or someone created for me for the purposes of doing the karaoke. So they're not the real fucking song at all. One of them is me singing Turning Japanese but it's me playing Guitar Hero, the, the 80s uh, game, and playing the song, and the, the mic is, like, listening to me sing, and the TV audio. But, 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 the song in the game isn't the real Turning Japanese song. It's a cover of the song. So I'm doing a cover of a cover through shitty, like, TV speakers. And I got copyrighted for fucking, for, you know, copy, well, I got copyrighted. Copyright strike. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, shit, yeah, I just dribbled over my myself. It did not get copyright strike. No. I have not been copyright strike at all. But, but, it was flagged for copyright. And I've disputed the first two. Uh, I'm not going to do any more. Because I'm anxious about them actually getting copyright striked. And if you get three, then my fucking channel goes down. So, I've, I've disputed two. Uh, one of them is... Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, I know what that is. It's a weird thing to just suddenly say. Anyway, it's fine. There's a weird tag on a cable. I'm like, what the hell is that? Anyway, I'm drunk and get, get distracted. Um, one of them is Bohemian Rhapsody that I really want to release because it's funny. Uh, so I hope, hopefully I can get that done. Hopefully that, apparently if they don't get back to me in 30 days then it just gets released automatically, uh, which is fine. But if I wait for the first two to get done, that it'll be December 20th. And then, you know, um, I won't have time to, you know, copyright what's in it, what's in it, the rest of them. I can always put them out later. The three Christmas songs will come out, which are Oh Holy Night on Christmas Eve, uh, 12 Days of Christmas? No, no, Rudolph the Red Nose <laughs> Oh boy. On uh, Christmas Day and uh, 12 Days of Christmas. On uh, Boxing Day. 
Uh, yeah, my name is Leo. The rap, original rap, comes out on the 20th of December, I think. Uh, that's that's the, the one that's going to premiere. And then Afraid Alone is the day after that, so that'll be the 21st. Now, interesting enough, my, now, now, keep in mind that I said that most of my videos have been flagged, except for those ones I just mentioned. But here's a, a couple that weren't flagged for interesting reasons. Well, not well, whatever, I don't know the reason, but... Um, my Name Is by uh, Eminem was not flagged. It is a mini, like the others. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't flagged at all, interestingly enough. Uh, so that's fine for now. Uh, and the other one that wasn't flagged was Cooking by the Book, A Little Bigger Mix. Which is the song Cooking by the Book. Um... And Lazy Town, the song from Lazy Town, uh, with Little Wayne, Little Wayne, Little John, fuck, one of them, <laughs> one of the little rappers, um, like second some very questionable material that I I had to um bleep out because uh, I couldn't put that on YouTube. <laughs> After shit that he says. I mean, there's some shit that's still in there. Don't, don't worry about it. But that wasn't that was a flag. And the funny thing about that one is that the 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 actual uh, clip of the song from the real the, the actual song from Laser Down is just the song. I didn't it's not a mini or anything. The one that makes kinda sense would be a Kuna Matata. Because the Kuna Matata I couldn't find a mini for it. So, a friend of mine took the actual Kuna Matata song and put a filter to it, because they're good with sound engineering and stuff. And they, they put a filter on it that removed the audio. Um, so it's really just the song, but it's like through a filter. But all the other ones are fucking midis. So bummed. I might have to, like, scrap actually releasing all those songs. Which fucking sucks. Mmm. Well, gotta know. If I can't put them out, oh shit. If I can't put them out, I can't put them out. So, anyway. Let's play Persona 5 Rail. It's the 21st of November. A worthy end for villain. Come on, look his name. Jesus Christ. Kid had it coming. He went down easy. He got what he's, uh, Jesus Christ. Wait, don't, doesn't everyone know that I died? Just like a catchy pincer. So he has to be joking. Justice for the catchy boys. Ah. I heard they arrested one of the fanatics. No way! I didn't expect him to commit suicide. He's a murderer. He deserved to die. We can finally breathe easy now. Why well, don't? Don't. Don't. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, son. He killed himself, huh? I guess we'll never know his motivations. What an asshole. Hmm. I'm exhausted. Am I alive? I feel like my consciousness is about to fade away. Who's taking me here? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, so gonna save me. And then we're gonna make the love. Listen to your sweet angelic voice, baby. Wait, that was just. How is the drug still. Fucking god damn. That's a bitch of a drug, man. The memories I thought were gone are starting to come back. Okay. Like what? Well, like this. Are you listening? No! What the fuck are we talking about? You weren't paying attention? No. Well, I guess I can see how you'd be lost in thought right now. What are we talking about? 
We need to talk about how to get out of this situation. What situation? Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. This shit, Sherlock. I fucking told you, like, before he even approached us. It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdown. What a revelation! It's not like I didn't know this. His offer to assist us was simply a ploy to frame the phantom thieves and kill him. Yeah, did you, did, did I show you the time he tried to kill me, actually? If we go into Sis's palace as he suggests, we'll likely be met by a large ambush of police forces. Why did he try to kill? Why did he try to kill me in Mementos, actually? Why, why would he do such a thing? To think he would be this far gone. I know now what it means to feel a chill down my spine. Ooh. Spooky. Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality into the palace. How do you do that? How does that work? If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not inconceivable to think a larger group is possible. But I thought... Hang on. Hang on. Do you not have to be a Persona user to go into the palace? Can non-Persona users go into the palace? He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. Ow. Well, I mean, since the, the co uh, costumes and the, yeah, right, they're based on our cognition. So, they can just, yeah, I suppose. So, this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. He made us go after Okumura. Then once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. Wait, how did, wait I forgot. How did, we, how did he make us go after Okumura again? Uh, I, I don't remember. Uh... Oh right, they they rigged, they rigged the fan site uh, survey. Oh yeah, 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 I got that. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time. What a fucking bitch! I gotta pour myself a drink. Hold on. I need to be thoroughly based so that my foot stops hurting. The fact that it still hurts is uh, proof that I need to drink more. Yep, that's how that works. Right? Is that a soccer ball? What is that? Is that no? It's not being uh, green screened out. What is that on the on the on my Coke on my uh, Coke Zero bottle? Okay, that fucking shine is annoying. What is that? No, it's a soccer ball. What is KOR? Uh, uh, it says... Lisaikuru... Lis oh. Make sure to recycle me. Okay. Is that a soccer ball? Yeah, I, I guess it's a soccer ball. If I turn that off, does that make it less shiny? Uh, no. It just makes it really dark. Okay, well, never mind. What if I put it closer to the camera? That's worse. Alright, back to the camera. That was better. So there's like a, there's like a little, a little white piece here and then a, a white hexagon here, which... Is it a hexagon? Yeah. There's a little black bit up here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what KOR means. Is that... Is that a soccer thing? No, I've sh I feel like I've shaken the bottle a bunch. So this might explode on my face. Hold on. Oh my god, I swear to god, if you do what I think you're about to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oof. That was a scary one. 
Let me be the one to tell you that. Boy, I was scared for my life. I thought I was gonna get showered by the spray of coke. Turns out it was just a little... Ugh. No, seriously, what's KOL? Well? I don't know. Shut up. Don't go to the web. To the web! KOL uh, soccer. Uh. KOL is the Korean soccer team? I don't know about that. I think it is. Why would... Why would my Japanese Coke Zero bottle... Hang on. Uh... Coca-Cola... How do you spell Coca-Cola? Coca... Oh, C. Idiot. Coca-Cola... K-O-R. Mickey Core? Oh, he did some, he did some art. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, he, oh yeah, he made art. Mickey Core. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh shit. He designed, he designed the label. And yeah, it's totally a soccer ball. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Well. They, what the fuck is that? Uh, don't want that. Okay, well there you have it. Uh, it was designed by a guy named Mickey Gore, and that's why it has KOA on it. Well, I bet you are relieved as fuck to know that. Because, like, I bet that was something that you could not sleep at night. If you do not know the answer to that question. Question that nobody asked. Anyway, can we get back to the game? Yeah, yeah. The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. He was not a homicidal maniac, but okay. Come on. Gotta take that bastard to catch you down. Isn't that recording we got enough proof to do it? Nah. No. Akechi is merely a tool. His orders come from elsewhere. The grand mastermind behind this all. And isn't it an amazing coincidence that the grand mastermind happens to be the asshole that I assaulted at the beginning of the game? Coincidence? Fiend capable of arranging the murder of a suspect inside of a police station. Wait, are we, are we actually in a police station? Because what the fucking police station has a weird underground interrogation thing? Chamber. Once we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat a catchy. Well. But what means do we have of learning his identity? We'll have to make a catchy say it. Though once we do, that mastermind will likely eliminate us. I think that will be the case eventually, regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. Okay, somebody needs to tell me how... What was it? Did Saya put blanks on the gun and then... Put ketchup in my face? I don't know. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. If he realizes that's no longer possible and abandons that plan, he may opt to kill us immediately. Damn it! So we don't got a choice but to go with that bastard. But he does know who everyone is, even if I haven't openly admitted it to Sai yet. But if we go into the palace like we're told, he'll get arrested, and then Akechi will kill him. Yeah. Palace. The palace. Yeah, I mean, Akechi has a palace. Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding. We can use the palace to our advantage. What's this all of a sudden? There's a way. So I, I'm confused. When did this conversation happen? Uh, 
Cause the kids is not here yet. Hmm. A way to get past Akechi and get the mastermind to lay off of us, all while learning his identity. Okay. Really? Uh, is this why she got the idea of making the app? You gotta be kidding me. If he wants to kill the guy, why not let him? Uh because I like being alive, Futaba. That is inside of a palace. But if I get shot in the palace, don't I? Uh Okay. I understand what you're saying. You're saying they did the old switcheroo and Okay, she actually killed me in the palace, but he thought he was killing me in the real world. But I guess I didn't die in the palace, even though... Pretty sure if you die in the palace, you die in real life. Pretty sure this is a Matrix situation that we're having here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. How does the real world think that I die? Hello? Yes. We could have him kill the cognitive version. All the while believing he killed the real one. But. But. Okay. I know this is a different situation. But when Okumu was killed in his palace, he died. Now that was him being killed in his own palace. And I'm not going to be killed in my own palace, but. I still die? Like, when I lose to a boss, or even a random encounter in whatever, the metaverse, whether it's Mementos or Palace, uh, I game over, and that happens! Yeah, that's it! It seems that's our only option. I don't understand. Listen close, everyone. I have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. I feel like they're taking liberties that shouldn't be taken, but whatever. Let's just... Let's just go with the flow for a minute, for a little bit. Ever since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. Wait, does he know? However, he knows. the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. Okay. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Uh. Waiting upstairs. Go tell them to come on down. Or maybe you go upstairs. I'm gonna fetch him. Him? I don't know. You're her sister, correct? Makoto told me everything. Hey, we got a friend. Futaba-chan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. Yeah, oh, she bowed and everything. <gasps> Honey, mama! No. Fuck, I wish it was a party member. Eh, it's ancient history now. <laughs> Cause she likes Egypt. Yeah, let's see what, I, see what she did there. Man, a goddamn detective. He's not even a detective, is he? Does he even have, like, the actual credentials that one would need to be a detective? Look who's here. Oh, yeah? It's Leo! Oh, my God. Hey, you big bastard. I am big. And I'm a bastard. Oh, you know, fucking dead. <laughs> you must be fine if you're joking around like that. No, but I was shot in the head, though. It truly is a relief to see your face. Oh, I don't love you, Mikado. Don't talk, don't talk about that. I bet that moron a catchy don't even know we tricked him yet. Maybe we shouldn't say like that. Cause maybe he's bugging the fucking room or whatever. Still, how'd you pull this off? I don't know! 
Isn't this guy considered? Why? Thought we not explaining what the fuck happened. You weren't told anything. I wasn't told anything. I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. Uh huh. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. I'm confused. Where was I though? If, if the gang were upstairs, it kind of. Oh, I was. Oh, I was staying at his house. Uh, you think the police wouldn't have this place monitored? I didn't have time to explain. Hey, shouldn't we tell boss what really happened? No. We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. How about we stop calling him boss and calling what Japanese call him master? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's the thing. What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Then it's not my fault. Wait, does that mean I had to change the hand? Oh! What? But that still doesn't... No, if I die in the metaverse, I, I would have had a mental breakdown, mental shutdown. You only have a change of heart if someone steals my treasure. I... Yeah, no, actually, right, never mind. I, I resend my. Ah! Oh, because that still doesn't check out. Oh, hold on a sec. Jesus Christ. They're not going to explain it, are they? Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? Oh, shut up, Sojo. You're not asking the right fucking questions. True culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. You know that. True culprit. I see. So you guys were going up against someone. I mean, else. It was Goro Akechi. <gasps> you knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Me? Or Sojo? Me. Fucking oath. Fucking oath he was the bad guy. Is that an Australianism? Fucking oath. <laughs> to the web. I believe that. Hang on. Fucking But it has my oath. Yeah, I, yeah, it, was, it would be the uh Urban Dictionary, perfect. Australian slang! Yeah! Okay, fair enough. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, no shit. Okay, well, fuck me. Uh, fucking oath is, uh, Australian slang for fuck yes, or enthusiastically, yes. Examples. Wanna smoke? Fucking oath! <laughs> Translation. Would you like a cigarette? Why, thank you, good sir. <laughs> By fuck knuckle. Mm. It's the person whose name is fuck knuckle. Right. What? What it is is a person dingo? <laughs> this is Urban Dictionary, by the way. Dingo! Uh, but how do you say that word? Uh, infant side, baby removalist, etc., etc. Example, I used a dingo to get rid of my baby. <laughs> okay, okay, fuck knuckle is clearly out Australian. Because uh, this is all V8, a real engine. Doesn't matter if it's a Chev, 
Dodge, Holden, no one knows what that means. Ford, it's gonna be beat the shit out of a... It's gonna beat the shit out of a fart can. Posing turbo super four cylinder. Think about it. You do the exact equivalent modification to a V8 powerhouse and to a four cylinder fart box. And you will always get more horses out of the V8. Simple math. More cylinders equals more displacement. I can't believe that horsepower is still a thing they're using. Uh, I, <laughs> example. I love it when I scream past a wanker in a four cylinder hatchback with a 10 inch. 10 inch what? Tacho? I don't know what that means. And a 36 inch exhaust and scare the absolute shit out of him with my Holden Ute powered by a quality Australian V8. We should probably start talking about Utes. And how that's, that's basically a pickup truck, but it's a little bit different in Australia. I'm sorry, what is a Tacho? Uh, I don't think that's related to this topic, but whatever. What else we got? Get the dingo mug. Okay. Grouse. Amusingly shaped. Excellent spiffing. That bike is grouse. Jiggery pokery. Australian slang for apple pie. What? Uh... You mean, like a, an actual apple pie, or is it an Urban Dictionary? Ah, uh, <laughs> I say, I say, it's another kind of slang. Anyway, jiggery pokery. I don't think that's correct. I think jiggery pokery has other meanings, right? Whatever example. Get a load of this jiggery pokery up, jiggery pokery up you, up ya. It's grouse. Translation: Here, try this apple pie. I'm sure you will find it most delicious. I don't think that's what that word means. Jiggery pokery is like, like, like doing some. Like DIY slash jiggering to fix something. Or to adjust the settings of something. What is this? 71077345. Shell oil when entered into a cal calculator upside down. Try it. I'm sure you'll. Be pleasantly surprised. I example, I put 71077345 in my calculator. It made shell oil. The fuck are you talking about? I don't... Is that funny? Am I supposed to laugh at that? Who gives a shit if it says shell oil? Anyway, talk to me about apple pie. Apparently apple pie is a slang term for a woman's uh... I don't think that's what they're talking about. Example. A pie with apple flavorings. No, that's not right. Gonna get me a little apple pie. Which kind? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's, oh, right. Of course. American Pie. And what was the name of that movie? It was American Pie. Yeah. 
God. How many of those movies were there? So the web... Dude, I'm, I'm currently um, recording a video. Yeah, I know. Okay, well. I'm not serious, I need to know how many songs there. How many movies, film series, oh god. Uh, American Reunion. Wait, did we watch that? Uh, what about the other ones? What about, um... Spin-off series, yeah. What about, um... Oh fuck, what was the other ones? Oh god, I forgot what it was called. Oh, The Naked Mile. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I have seen that. Bandcamp? I don't... What's The Naked Mile? Um... The Book of Love? I feel like I'm, What the fuck is Girls Rules? Yeah, that might... That's 2020. Oh, okay, I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, so that's a new one. I feel like I've seen every single movie. No, I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen American Reunion. American Pie came out in 99? You fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I had no idea. Fuck. I'm old. <laughs> uh. That's weird, actually. Who am I thinking of? I think you're thinking of a different uh, movie series. Van Wilder? Is that what you're thinking of? Yes. Van Wilder. I thought Van Wilder was related to it. National Lampoons. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not related to... No. Okay. Uh, I don't want to start. When did that movie come out? 2002. Hmm. Okay. Um, I, I, don't, I do not want to start on a, um, on a fucking goddamn wiki dive into, um, uh, what's the company that made this? You can do it, National Lampoons. Thank you. I'll be here all fucking day if I start looking at goddamn National Lampoons stuff. Ah, uh, the vacation series. Holiday Run! The Rise of Taj. Wait, wasn't that... Wait, was that... Was that Van Wilder? Yeah, the Muff Diver. Oh my god. Okay, so those are different series. Never mind. Are we done? Yes, I think we're done. What was the... Why did I come here? To see if fucking Oath is an Australian slang. Spoilers, it is. Yeah. Are you sure it's only Australian? Fucking A. Alright. Are we good now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just not looking at that now. Okay. Oh, I don't know when that happened. It's fine. It happens. When I click on stuff. What was I saying? Oh! You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Fucking A! No, fucking oath. Damn it, do it again. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Fucking oath I did. A 
Kakashi himself gave us the chance to strike back. Did he? He made one fatal mistake. What was that? Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? Yeah. Couldn't we have done that? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. Why not? He couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Why not? Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? Why not? True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. In other words, you left them alone on purpose. That was a bold move. Yeah, God damn it. I'm gonna pause the video real quick. Alright, we're back. And today goes the bullshit off my stream. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Yeah, okay, sorry, what was the last thing she said? In other words, you left them alone on purpose. That was a bold move. Well, I'm a bold man. Uh, so, what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? Yeah, yeah, what, what, what did he do? He, uh, admitted to talking to a cat. He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. Who's Morgana? Yeah, 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 the cat talks. Don't worry about it. Yes, Morgana can. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, I want to just like, like, I want to, I want to, I want me to turn around and just like put my lips up to fucking Shijiro's lips and just go. Shh. Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Shh. Apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? He can't hear you, you fucking moron! Does that mean he said something just now as well? Uh... But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first. Too. And then hold my lips up to size lip. Hold, hold my lips up to size lips. All right. I'm down. Hold my finger up to size lips and go. <laughs> when you're in the metaverse, Simona talks like a normal person. That makes sense. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. Oh, so you don't have to be a persona user? It's a change in cognition, most likely. It's almost like he's not a real human. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Way. Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here. Shut up, Morgana. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. And that was the thing about pancakes. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. Ooh. That meant a catch you'd already been in the metaverse by then. Maybe he had. Doesn't mean he's the culprit. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. Seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one, after all. We got lucky, I guess. Mm. That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. That's why we asked Batabachan to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. Oh, that's why he like grabbed onto uh, our kitchen's phone. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Ah, well, my heart's pounding as I pour this new drink. Yeah, I had a thought the other day. 
I was watching people like doing drinking games with uh, ghost stories. You know that anime that has a um, a licensed dub that's basically just a bridge series? And I'm thinking, I should fucking watch that show. But not just watch the show, because that's just boring. I gotta watch the show like on stream and drink. Maybe not do the same drinking game they do because they almost kill themselves, but um Yeah. Who wants to watch fucking ghost stories with me? Let's do it. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Futaba's is that good. Futaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. Yeah. That was just an act. Yeah. Sure it was. After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. What I don't get is why is he using the word palace? Isn't that a word we just came up with to explain the the realm? Of people that we go into. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? So for the part that you shot the guard in the back of the head, and shot me in the front of the head, which doesn't make sense for me to do. Also, wasn't I still handcuffed at the time? I tried to bet, but it didn't happen. Hold on. I can't bet. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. So, uh, okay, once again, did he actually kill me, or what? When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. Hey, I catch it. Guess what? He's gonna fucking kill you next, you idiot. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone. He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Shut up. Someone with great authority. Shut up. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. Shut up. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. Do you? Because I don't. Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, huh? but think he killed him. I, I don't, I still don't understand this part of the story. I'm pretty sure if you die in the cognitive world, you fucking die. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? Oh, tell me, talk to me about that. We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. And I just love your fucking shadow form, Zaya. What conditions? Well, uh, tattoos, uh, big naked back, and oh, that fishnet thing in the front of your chest. It's good. First. We required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. What do you mean? What are you talking about? The police station? Yeah, but the, the building was the... That was the, the court, right? Huh? That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. Oh, you mean the building next to it is the 
the PlayStation, then that's just a, this, this is just the PlayStation. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. I can't explain it, but I got it. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. The station? We went. I thought we went in through the alleyway in front of our school. Huh? What? I thought we went in through the alleyway. What? Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. I had no idea. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. It's almost like Makoto's actually smart. She's not. Fucking dumbass! But, so. Uh... To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. Yeah, just pat Makoto on the head and say, Yeah, 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 good girl. Alright. Fucking kind of living it. How my foot still hurts. I haven't felt my foot in like 20 minutes and I just wiggled my little toe and my little toe hurts like shit. Wiggle your big toe. Oh god, that hurts. Like fuck. Okay. I think I, I, think I might have fucked up my little toe. Right. Fucking. Well, my, my right leg's good. I don't think my right leg had any problem at all, did it? I don't know. My left leg is pretty numb, except for that little toe. Oh, it hurts, but I'll deal with it. Do I have a choice? No. <laughs> uh, so, what was the question? What was the question, but whatever. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. It was a great idea, come down. We could have had this ginormous inflated head, if you say that. Uh, it was reckless. We still managed to pull it off. Fuck you, Makoto, you're dumb. Makoto is normally so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I can't believe Makoto is. Is Makoto? Hang on. <laughs> to the web. Wait, let me do that again. To the web! Persona 5 Royal Most Popular Most Popular Character. I'm pretty sure, at least in Japan, Makoto is like the number one popular character. Ten is protagonist. Nine is a catchy. Shut up. He's a fucking prick. Haru Morgana and. What the? Uji. Taba. You just got. Yeah, Makoto. Ahem. Be it the best party member or the best confidant. Makoto wins them both. Much like for Taba and Yusuke. There is a fish out of water aspect to her story that makes it incredibly compelling. Unlike the aforementioned, however, she is a lot more put together. She's a stereotypical, perfect high school student, although one that has been hiding her true self from. What? 
One that has been hiding her true self for almost her entire life. Look, I mean, look, I can't deny. What was that? Now, uh, California and the price of gas. Well, that's not my problem. Uh, I can't, I can't deny that when I saw Makoto awaken her persona, and her persona was a fucking motorcycle, and she rides it whenever she uses it, was not fucking cool. Am I gonna go around and say that she's best fucking character? No! She got us in trouble with fucking, um... Not Kamashita. What's the guy's name? Kanashiro? Yeah. We totally wouldn't have had any problems with Kanashiro if it... Wait, is Kanashiro part of the secret cabal? Good question. <clears throat> Wait, what palace have we done? We did Kamashita. Kamashita is definitely not related to anything, right? Madarame? Maybe. I don't know. Kanashiro? Was Okimura the next one? Maybe? I don't know. Let's move on. Anyway. The point is, Makoto is not best girl. Fuck you. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. What? But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. Ah! I dropped the I dropped the on. It's fine. Hold on, I have to do I have to do a quick uh To the one Uh I, I might just pause the video, I'll be right back. Did I do it? Yeah you did it. Hey, we're back! It's been like almost an hour since I paused the video. Don't worry about it. Justin's with us. Which is weird because he's probably going to watch this afterwards. Anyway, what was I just talking about? I don't remember. It's been so long. But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. Mm hmm. Oh, now I remember why I paused the video. Yeah, that, yeah, don't worry about it. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. Oh. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. Mm. Were you not yourself or were you actually totally your true self? Sorry, I couldn't see that. Well, that goes for the both of us. Oh. We heard from Mako chan that you were going to do the interrogation in Ijima -san. Why didn't you just fucking make out, you two? And regarding its location, I take it you use the data from my laptop? Dude, the sisters. I don't care. I'm sorry. Are you, though? <laughs> She's winking. Go on. Yeah. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. What the fuck am I looking at? Uh, that's me, and that's Phantom Thief me. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. What? There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. Alright, I'm gonna fuck I'm just gonna hear it out. 
scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Okay. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. How do you secretly go into a government facility? There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. My giant penis. No, what? Perfect cognitive replica of him in the metaverse's interrogation. Well, you know what? If you're gonna do a perfect cognitive replica of me, well, you need to make a giant penis of me because my penis is big. Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Just read it. So, who is your best Phantom Thief girl? Phantom Thief? Fuck. Straight up ruling out all the adults. I hate you. Um, not Makoto, because she's an idiot. Not Haru, because she's also an idiot. Can I count Saya because she's. She's part of the Santa Thieves now, right? Come on. And. Uh, Futaba, probably. Because she's like the one person that's actually smart in this group. And not a complete fucking moron. They looked no different from actual living people. Shut up. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual while keeping it catchy in the dark. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. Okay. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. That was all an act. Okay. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. To fool a catchy? This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. Okay. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. Uh, just running in. And a Makoto for me in that order. And how is the top? Whatever. Why? Why the fuck is Makoto second? Makoto is like the giantest dumbass of them all. Oh, I'll, I'll give you Anne. Anne's fine. I have no, I have no problems with Anne. Makoto is a fucking idiot that almost got us killed with Kanashiro. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. Me interrogating me? Hmm. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? It was the phone, you dumbass! All I needed were the coordinates. The coordinates. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is that picture? It seems like she used his laptop. This laptop. To remotely access the metaverse. Can you do that? Asking her about it will drag her. I should talk to her later. What? Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. <laughs> you stupid fuck! Can't say.
Just to remind Makona has the second best choice. Plus BJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's got BJ on the call. Yeah, it's an old joke. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. That's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. Shut up. I'm just I didn't fucking die. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. <sighs> Wait, how did you unlock it though? So in other words, I've been to the metaverse. Albeit for a brief moment. You're welcome. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. Ooh. In what situation have we had someone enter their own palace? Uh, Futaba, maybe? That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. I had no idea. Huh. Astounding. <laughs> That's not the only thing that was happening within you, if you know what I'm saying. Sex. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. What can I say? I'm a fucking boss. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. <laughs> True. Shut up. Why is that? Without Sis on our side. Utaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. Wait, how did I get out? Um, fucking Saya brought us out. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. In the cognitive world? No. Wait, how the fuck did Saya get us out? Shh. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? No. I don't even know, don't remember drugs. He says he continues to drink his mama coke. Understandable. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. Yeah, I'm super drunk. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. On the plus side, my uh, left middle toe, not middle toe, little toe doesn't hurt anymore. Really? Yeah, it's fine now. It'll hurt like fuck in the morning though, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that for free. As a result, we emerged victorious. Uh, then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Don't throw any in rum and coke. Give me your best pirate impression. Hey man, just because I drink rum. Wait, hang on. Wait, hold on, hold on. Where is it? It's, it's under here somewhere. I literally saw it before. Where is it? Oh shit, where is it? There it is. I found, I found it. Wait for it. Fucking red drop everything. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Just because I drink rum. Where the fuck is it? There it is. <laughs> fuck, I dropped my controller. Idiot. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's fine. Where did my controller go? Yeah. Damn it. Stop pushing buttons. Accidentally. 
but still push your buttons. Hey, right, how's my uh, how's my battery going? Okay. I'll put that shit. Anyway, just because I'm drinking rum and coke, asshole, doesn't make me a pirate. I mean, you know, where's the other? Wait, yeah, where's the other red strap thing? <clears throat> Alright. I'm not a pirate or anything. It's because I drink around my coke. I'm gonna pull myself up a drink. <sighs> oh no, I feel rum. Oh fuck, I'm out of rum! Uh. Well, I'm just gonna drink what I got because um, I don't think I need any more rum and coke, quite frankly. Ah, my rum's all gone. I didn't go and drink at all. That's all. I'll just have to drink. Come on, do it. I can't. I can't do anything to a pirate voice unless I say, Arr, my rum's all gone, I guess I'll just have to drink it all. Uh, just running in, what kind of rum, Captain Kun? Captain. <laughs> Captain Kid? Uh, it's not being, uh, Chroma Kid? No, no, it's fine. I am drinking. Uh, it said, Shit, don't drop it. It's glass. <laughs> I, need you, I need you to not drop it. Oh, I can't cast this shit. Why is it so shiny? Whatever. It's Santoria White Rum. It's literally the cheapest rum I could find. I'm trying, I'm trying to think what kind of rums you can actually buy in my neck of the woods. You can buy, yeah, Santoria White Rum. So Dory brand rum, which is slightly more expensive. Uh, uh, Captain... Fuck. Captain Jack? No. Captain... What's the popular rum in uh, America? To the wood! No, not Bacardi. No, I, th I think you can actually buy Bacardi. Captain Morgan, that's it, that's it. Yeah, Captain Morgan uh, exists. I, yeah, Bacardi, I think, exists. Um, wait, is World Cup happening right now? Oh. Whoa, World Cup, yay! Don't give a fucking shit. Just running in, fair enough. I'm more of a dark rum man myself. Well, I'm more of a buy the cheapest rum that I can find man myself. <sighs> anyway. Considering that there's a lot, there's more than 50% of coke in a rum and coke, then, you know, the rum doesn't really matter. And then I'll go to, then I'll go to Australia and just and I'll be like, holy shit, Bundaberg rum is the shit. Because Bundaberg rum, I don't know, maybe, maybe I've just been, maybe I'm just drunk. But, uh, yeah, I, th I feel like Bundaberg rum is actually way better than whatever Japanese rum I'm getting. I've tried, I've tried to have the Morgan, it's alright. I've tried Spice rum, it's alright. Uh, I want to say that Bundaberg rum is not 
It's definitely not white man, no. It's, um, well, it's regular, you know, golden colored rum. Anyway, Dawson running in. Kraken or Sailor Jerry's is the best rum. Also, the World Cup football starts all tomorrow. You mean World Cup soccer? Yeah, that's what he meant. You meant soccer. I don't know what football is. Anyway. Uh, no, Bundaberg Rum is, is the greatest rum in the world. Fuck you. That's all I'd say. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yeah. Yes. Plus, you had lost control of yourself at the time. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. Ha ha ha! I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill of fake. But what did you do about the body? Good question. The police never even checked it. Why the fuck not? Huh? They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. Oh. When you say they, you mean the secret cabal? That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. Mm. Bad guys have that much influence? Dustin running in, do they really call football soccer Zaya? <laughs> he said I'm. No! Um, I, th I believe Blackjack, good friend of the channel, calls it soccer. Um, sorry, football. I personally saw it, call it soccer because as a linguist I find the easiest to understand words is the best. So I never use the word football. I say soccer for soccer. I say gridiron for American football. I say rugby for rugby. I say AFL or Australian football for Australian football. What other kinds of football are there? Uh, what's that game that they used to play in high school? Fulcy backs? My hand. To the web. Oh, can we not? A bulls video, hang on. Alright, we're back. And we're talking about force back. Also known as force them back. Force them back. Forcing back. Force backs. Or forcings back. There's a game played by students, particularly in Australia and New Zealand, at lunch or recess. It is played with football, usually oblique, spheroid shaped, or sometimes round, as in a rugby ball. Uh, some skills that are improved in this are kicking, aim, distance control, running, and catching. The rules are usually modified by students themselves, depending on what environment they are playing in. While there are no standard rules, the game is increasingly confined and endorsed as a requisite rec as a recreational sport. Damn it. As a recreational school age game. Shouldn't it be aged game? Whatever. By various sports bodies, including rugby junior development, particularly the New South Wales School Sport and AFL New Zealand also. AFL New Zealand, what? Uh, but also the rugby and Australian football. Sorry, AFL New Zealand? 
AFL literally means Australian Football League. What the fuck do New Zealand's have to do with Australian football? The AFL New Zealand currently has 30,000 registered players? Okay. Sure. Anyway. Falsy Max. The origin of the pastime is not unknown, is not known. However, it is believed to have originated with informal kick to kick rewarding players. <laughs> Whatever. It's a game where you kick the ball really hard and then people catch the ball. And then from the the the, the position that they catch the ball, they can then kick the ball. That's how it's a game. Yeah, I don't know. It's not that interesting. There is more than one game, Justin, in which you use only your feet to kick the ball. I would like to point out that in soccer, sometimes certain players may use their hands. Just saying. Soccer certainly is a game where you generally, and 99% of the time, unless you are a goalie, do not use your hands. However, um, the frick was that? It's like a piece of plastic stuck in my can. PS4 controller, don't worry about it. Anyway, the point I'm trying to say is there are times when you may, in fact, use your hands in soccer. Whatever. The point I'm trying to say is, Justin, and you may dispute it, and I don't give a fuck, because I'm a linguist and my, my opinions are important. As a linguist, I strive to use words that are the most commonly understood by all people in the universe and by universe I mean the planet Earth, I don't know why I said universe if I say the word football there's a little bit of confusion but if I say soccer everybody knows that I mean the European sport generally using your feet to kick a round spherical ball with black and white design and I already forget how many with the ratio of black squares to black hexagons to white hexagons are. Is it one to two? Yeah, it's one to two. You're right. Anyway. What the fuck were we talking about? I need a pair again. God damn it. The bad guys have. Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also knew of a possible conspirator. Is it Shido? Thanks to Futaba-chan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as a catchy planned. Ah, uh, just is running in. Only beta males would have any confusion over what football means. I agree. Only beta males would use the word football to mean soccer. Get wrecked. Anyway. What does FIFA stand for? That's FIFA stand for. Federation, no. Football, no, that doesn't make sense. No, F, football in, god damn it. F 
Football International Association, Federation to the one. I believe it's football. No, it would be Federation for International Football Association. What? It's a dumb acronym. You're a dumb acronym. No. My name is not an acronym. Oh god, what the fuck is my acronym then? If it's LEO. Um. Okay, is FIFA happening in Qatar right now? Is that a... What is the World Cup in Qatar? Shut up. Is it really? Is it? The Federation... Oh, it's fucking French! Shut up. Fed Federation... International... The Football Association. Yeah, that was right. Oh, I'm sorry, is fucking FIFA the goddamn... There was no S in FIFA. <laughs> Maybe there should be! I'm gonna pee. Really? No, I really don't. I'm gonna pull this video, I'll be right back. And we're back. Alright. That's nice and grinding in. So you're watching Chainsaw Man yet? I have not started watching Chainsaw Man yet. No. I am waiting. Damn it, hang on. I am waiting for it to finish. And by, by that I mean I'm waiting for the, you know, first season. I'm not going to wait for the entire anime to finish. It's, it's just crazy. But I will wait for the first season to finish not watch it. Um... I still haven't finished the final episode of... <laughs> uh, it's weird to say it out loud. Uh, I'm still waiting for the final uh, episode of... Um, Iron Man... No, not, not Iron Man. Iron Fist 1. Season 1. Once I finish that, I'm going to watch the, the Defenders. And then... I don't know. I'll wait for it to be over. Once Chainsaw Man's done, then I'll watch it. It's so good, says Justin. Makima is best girl. I'm reading the manga as well. Well, if I was going to read manga, I'd read the Evangelion mangas, and I'm not reading manga, so... <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm playing the game now. What was the last thing that Saya said? As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as a catchy planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Nijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. I can use of violence and even drugs is utterly abnormal oh, really? if he had lost consciousness and hadn't been able to tell sis about the phone he would have died <sighs> what a treasure i'm truly glad you made it back safe makoto i'm not gonna romance me you sorry i'm not gonna romance you stop asking Not a problem. <laughs> How tough are you? <laughs> I'm playing on my source difficulty. You fucking tell me, Sarah. Uh, just a minute again. I already read the Immigrant Manga and I own them all. Wait, what? Have you read 
Justin, have you read Cable's Apocalypse? And Girlfriend of Steel? And Raising Shinji Ikari? It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. Because you're doing better than I am. Because I read, I read the, I read the official manga. I read Cable's Apocalypse, and I haven't, I have not read Girlfriend of Steel or Raising Shinji. I feel like there's another one. Is there another one? Is another manga? We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Uh. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. Did you? I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against. Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. <laughs> sure, we're good. Can it, cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. Who's the head commander? What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who is meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. Yay, size on the team. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Soldier is on the team. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is poop. My brain is not old. But it is also poop. Uh, just one again, I've read some girlfriend is still, I must admit. Okay, so when you say you read the Evangelion manga, you mean the official manga only, right? Have you read, uh, Campus Apocalypse? Because, I think I made reference to that in the playthrough, did I? The fact that Gendo is like the Gendo is from another universe who's come into this universe in order to like, basically take Yui. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. But why not use the second floor? You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. This is so weird. I feel like we should have had this conversation like six months ago. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Yeah, it's almost like you don't have any customers, so sure. Except for that dickhead, like, credit guy and those assholes. Let us accept his offer. What a great man. Mm. It's not good too far. And just running in. I've read and owned the official manga. And I've read some girlfriends. Okay. So I haven't read uh, Campus Apocalypse. I recommend reading Campus Apocalypse. It's fucking weird. Uh, but it is different. And that's what I like about it. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I haven't read Cup of Steel and I haven't read, um, Raising CG. And I feel like there's one more, but I can't remember. To the web! Really? Right now? Yeah, right now. Even girl. What the fuck is Evangelion Moonblood? Oh. Alright. That was when the, um, the Blood Moon was happening. I'm like, looking for a good representation of what I'm seeing in Japan. Because I swear to God, it looked just like that moon. 
With the blood splatter on it? Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Evangelion Manga. Manga. Mangas. Oh my god, there's way more than I thought there were! Shut up. Shut up. Neon Genesis of Evangelion, Neon Genesis Angelic Days, which is the girlfriend of Steel. Neon Genesis Raising Ayanami. Oh, there is a manga for that. It's a full coma? Shut up. Oh my god. Neon Genesis Eva and Eva 2 Anthology? What is that? What the F is that? You just as if we go in should you carry raising? Yep. It's a miracle win. I'm sorry, what? Based on CR Evangelion Pachinko machines? Shut up! Fuck off! Get fuck off. Um. Oh! Oh, was there a manga about the Detective Evangelion? I didn't know that. Oh, there's a Petite Ava manga. Really? Huh. Uh, Gakuen. Is that. Is that Cave of Apocalypse? Yeah. Gakuen da ten... Sorry, what? Da ten loku? And then there was a second one? Uh, Detective Diary... <clears throat> Tony Takazaki? What the fuck is that? There's a mega that came out Last year, related to Evangelion 3.1. Oh, that's the prequel manga. Eee, I should probably read that at some point. You say that, you're never gonna read it. Yeah, I might. What the fuck is Tony Takazaki's Neo Genesis Evangelion? Manga based on blah 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 blah. I'm moving on. Moving on with Persona. Neo fucking Leo. That sounds familiar. Mm. the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? Is the kids gonna kill Shido? No, nothing in particular. More importantly, you've done well with regard to the prosecutors. 
The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the <sighs> Thieves interrogation room, too. The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. Uh, just for running in. The big days are coming for you, dude. Oh yeah. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. I retract my previous statement of finger. <laughs> and on to our next story. A snap election for the House of Representatives. I oh, I forgot I have no rum. Damn it! I have no rum. God damn. What am I looking at right now? Don't worry about it. I wish I had rum. I only have coke now. Holy shit, I've drank a bunch of coke. No wonder I'm peeing every five seconds. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink some coke now. I mean, I have coke. I have rum. It's just. It's over there, I know. Don't want to get it. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy <laughs> announcement <laughs> nears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink water instead of Coke because, um. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Wait, say that again? The 18th of December? Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? The fuck were we talking about? Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together. We can finally take it to Akechi and the Bastard Bakken. Have you figured out who's behind all this? No. Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. Did he? He said Shido-san. Oh. Shido? Feels like I heard Yes, and you bald fucking guy with a goatee. He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh, who? I believe he's a politician. Remember Ryuji? He said his speech was too loud. For real? Oh my god. Fuck, now that I know about the for real meme, I'm noticing quite, like, exactly how many times she says that. For real? It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Do you have some kind of evidence? Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this, just based on the connections I had from my previous job. I 
think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shika. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do, so I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So, I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when, Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? <sighs> the issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for Prime Minister. Got a hit! Well, duh. I ain't a surprise he has one. Where would the location be? Japan. What kind of things go through a politician's head? The diet building? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? Nightclub. We got a hit. Fuck yeah. How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the diet? Well, he wants to be the leader, right? Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? What about a kitchen? No need to waste time with him. We just gotta hit the head. But he is the Poseidon user? Nobody against it? Of course. He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. But, I mean, okay. Hear me wait for a second. Akechi understands that he killed me. He still knows the battle that you guys lose. Shut up. He still knows the battle that you guys. Wouldn't he want to kill you? Huh? Huh? that allowed me to enter the metaverse. Wait, you entered the metaverse? An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. Shut up, Sajra. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. Couple of the deadlines, December 18th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That reminds me. What are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Oh, fuck. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. So it was that Miss Kawakami's my confidant? That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, alright? This whole thing would be for nothing. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. <sighs> Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives, and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. 
A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff too? We're intellectuals, you know. Um No Before bullshit. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I've been following the conversation until now. And the moment we're just like, we're intellectuals, you know. No you're not, you're a fucking dumbass. That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. It's been two and a half years? Back then, you earned the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believe that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher, she wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? to think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. <clears throat> this country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals. Which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic Ace Detective was born. Thanks to your efforts. 
secrets. My clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. have begun splitting up and they're dissolving just as planned <laughs> the time has finally come just a little more and I will take the seat of Prime Minister however inauguration isn't my goal that's when everything truly begins the one now who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. That is my duty as the chosen one. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. Nah. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. Nah. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. Uh. I am thinking about the future, though. Well, uh, how do I put this? Okay. I should write something. Oh, man. Uh, 
I didn't take a break. Oof. Apparently I'm real sleepy, I don't believe it. I mean, I don't doubt it. He won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This will be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. Mm -hmm. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well then, we should get to sleep. You know, something that Futaba said before. When you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up a reading of someone who came to your rescue. Was that... So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. Oh, right, Jesus Christ. All right, when we come back, we'll play some more. Just try to find more. I'm going to finish my name and I'll see you next time, bye.